Hello everyone, welcome back. And today we've got something a bit different planned, um, mainly because I, I haven't had much time to play Farming Simulator, but we'll ignore that. Um, so we do, we've got the white and the disc bind set up over there, just in the corner of this backfield. And we were going to do some mowing and haymaking, like I said in the last video, but actually uh, Nate gave us a call and said that there's a local tractor show um, because um, as you can see it's July the 4th so um, there's some celebrations going on in town um, and we're going to get a couple of our tractors and head over there and just check it out and meet up with some people and Nate has also said that He's been tinkering around with one of his old tractors and got it running and he'd like us to take us take it down for him because um he's busy today sadly he might pop in later but he he can't do the tractor so first of all uh we're going to unhitch the model a because um nothing better than a model a at a tractor show And I think this is pretty clean and everything, so it should be fine to get it straight and ready to load up. And we're also going to take, I think, the, the case 970. It was a toss-up between that and the 4020, but um, they're both a bit worn and the, the 4020 is in the back of the shed there with the loader on and everything, so... Um, I feel like the case is the well. I don't think there's a right and a wrong choice, really. Um, yeah, looking good. Ish, paint's obviously a bit, a bit mucky, but I don't think we'll need to wash this one down because I think we did that last time. So before I forget, we'll just hop on, and warm it up, and. Um, yeah, please ignore the, the um, decals being a bit slow to load. You'll see why that is in a second, but hopefully that doesn't cause too many issues recording, because I really want this this um, video to go well. And the same with the, the wear patterns on the truck are a little low res, but they pop back in. Anyway, we're going to load these two up. And then head down to the, well, get down into town. And I think it's on, um, there's just like a, a little field, um, uh, sort of green area opposite a school, just as you go into Alma. So um, we'll have to check that out. And I realise it's probably best, especially with these... Um, tricycle tractors to load in reverse and then that way you've got all the weight on the back so they can't roll over and kill you especially true because we don't have any kind of rollover protection on this little tractor there we go and let's get the case all loaded up as well Right, okay, we've got these two loaded up here, um, very tight, as you can see, we basically, oh, I can hop up, um, yeah, that hitch is <laughs> nearly touching the front tyres and the same on the back, but they both do fit, so we'll strap them down, and yeah, I do apologise for the, the jumpy textures, my PC's not the best, and um, there's quite a but a demand on it as you're going to see because a fair few other people have brought their tractors too so we'll get going head down there and yeah I think I might leave these grass fields I know I did get the white out yesterday evening just to see if we'd be ready to do any haymaking 
but I think what we'll end up doing is just um, uh, leaving them another month and we'll just test that theory that there is another growth state because it would be good to get a bit of extra yield and um, yeah we've got a show to go to anyway so I'll catch you all down there okay we're just coming into town here and I'm trying to remember how to get into the show I think you can go in either road but please ah. Oh. The traffic on Alma, honestly. But we'll ignore that because we're we're in good spirits today. Now, aha! There's some tractors and things. So there's this little track down the back here that should get us towards the show. And it's only a local one. It's not absolutely massive, but um, there's quite a lot of things here, all the same. So, I think what we're going to do, because we've obviously, the show opens at 9, so we've got an hour to set up. Um, we're going to load here, or unload here, and then head over to Nate's. And then we'll drive his tractor over, and that will be good. But... It looks like there's a, a pretty nice selection of things, so um, yeah, looks like there's sort of a red theme, a green thing um, going on, so uh, and yeah, there's, there's people milling about walking already. I presume most of the people at the moment are just tractor owners who've driven here. And I'm not going to look in too much detail just yet because I want to do a proper walk around on camera. But I'm thinking I don't really know where to put the case because there isn't another one. Which is there's a white. Um, but it's a good job we did. There's loads. Well, I say loads. There's mostly red here. But um, good job we did bring the case for a bit of variety rather than the... Um, just the John Deere. Now, I might try tucking the case in here. We'll just pop it on the end, because I don't know whether that... That's a lovely super liner, but I'm not sure whether that um, is just dropping stuff off, or whether it's part of the show. So we'll we'll avoid it, if possible. There we go. And now we've got the Model A to unload, and that can go very clearly in the green section. Well, that's an interesting thing. We'll come back and look at that. this kind of lined up. That looks good to me. Yeah, there we go. So, I guess, I mean, we could put the truck over there maybe for the time being, but ours isn't nearly as fancy as that Mac, so I think we'd best clear off. We'll drop it at Nate's in the yard. And then, I mean, we could, we could take his tractor on the trailer, but he has... Again, with the... Oh no, now I'm being the... Okay, I didn't stop at the light. or stop at the sign, so... I'm equally as fault. At fault, probably. Uh, but yeah, Nate said that... Um, he has spent the last couple of days trying to get his tractor going. So, um, ideally... We'll take it for a test drive. And we can... Um, see whether everything's working. I mean, I, I think he was just having engine issues, so um, I'm not even too sure. I know roughly what it is. I'll, I'll leave it as a surprise for you guys, but um, he said it would be around the, like, outside the Quan set, I think. So that helps that we don't have to go 
rooting through his sheds to find it. He's got it all ready for us. Um, and yeah, he's out this morning and might be back later on, we'll see. And there it is. So it's the Far More Letter series, that's as much as I knew. I think he's more of a, a red fan. But, I mean, uh, maybe similar to me, a tractor's a tractor. But yeah, historically I think this farm has used a lot of red stuff. And let's have a look and see what we got. Okay, so it's a Super M. I think that means it's the gas version rather than the diesel. Um, and tricycle, narrow front. Um, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, let's um. Oh, and I see. I assumed that we were going to actually load it up, but we're not, are we? So let's park this slightly more out of the way. Don't want to be um causing any hassle when we're just um trying to help as much as possible because Nate has been doing um, a really good job with the contracts for us you can see there our money um, is looking really healthy so our goals are seemingly quite achievable and there we go so it started up nicely that's the first step Seems to run all right. Let's put it into gear. And the nice thing, I been a long time since I drove a, a letter series farm or, or um, anything like this. So I forget, is it five speed, I think? Yeah. God, this takes me back. And it's a really nice day for it. 4th of July, which um, actually the way I'm, I'm doing it, it means it's July week 4. But we're going to pretend otherwise, because it's... Um, uh, <laughs> for once we'll, we'll pretend what it says, even though 4th of July would fall into July 1 with how I'm doing it. Okay, so... Check for traffic and then get it out on the road and up to speed. So this, um, I mean it feels a bit like driving my Model A, but obviously the, the Super M has far more horsepower and is a bit, bit faster on the road. Nice pokey tractor. Um, and yeah, I'm sure, I don't know, maybe the people in these houses are um, liking all these tractors go past or they're sick of them by now because I'm sure we're one of the last actually we're getting quite close to that nine o'clock deadline so we might be pushing it to make it in time but I don't think it's that strict that's just when it opens to the public so you have to be a bit careful moving vehicles around the compound and look at that the barriers open for us straight away So, um, yeah, I do apologise for the slightly blurry textures. Um, it's, I guess, an excuse to buy a better PC. But, uh, yeah, the game really does sort of struggle when there's lots and lots of highly detailed models all in one place, like all these tractors gathered together, sadly. Um, so it, like, flits in and out. But hopefully it's not too unwatchable for you. It's... Um, an enjoyable time for me. So we'll go up past the ketchup factory and I think this is the road we came out of. No indicators so we'll just use hand signals. And... Okay. Right, so we need to find a place between the red things for this. 
Oh, a bit of a kerp there. Didn't stall it though. I mean, it shouldn't stall really. Also, now we've parked the Model A there, we'll have to sneak our way in. I think we can get in through through here. And yeah, you see that, that building along the back behind there is the school. Oh, and look at this. So, I deliberately tried not to look too closely at the models, but that's another variant of the Farmal M with a wide front. get this parked nice and straight hopefully how's that looking I think that will do very nice okay so let's make sure it's all shut down 10 minutes late really well 8 minutes but yeah um I mean, people will start turning up all day long and it'll probably only be midday when most of the crowds come. So we'll try to do all our filming around while there's nobody about. So let's start down this end. This is... And I'll have to have a look because I'm not, not too good. This is a 4,000, okay. So I think, I think the 4,000 was the... Um, the, the like the 4020 with a slightly lighter spec back end maybe even off the 3000 which I know there's one up there or well, 3000 series but not really sure um, I only really know my 4020 obviously well here's our little model a so that's that's nice to see the paint's still good on it yeah nice to actually get it out for a show and it, it fits in really well with all of these things. Got some really cool things here. This I really wanted to take a look at. So this is a John Deere 110, which I thought was just like a little garden tractor. So I think this might be a homemade. And is that? Yeah, it's articulated. If you look in there at the joint. Oh yeah, there's the ram for it. So yeah. Yeah pretty sure this is just a homemade conversion thing and it's really cool that would be that's like the ideal little show tractor for bigger shows to just drive around for fun now here this is probably one of the newest things we got and it's um pretty huge so 4650 john deere so we got the um the sg2 cab i think nice um jewels on it and yeah be really nice to have something like that on the farm we're not too far off it actually with the the 8910 but have something big with front wheel assist that'd be really good to have now this looks very familiar but actually it's only the canopy because it's a 3020 so it's the the little smaller one um yeah, that's looking nice. Again, so many of these I'd like to have for the farm, but the question is, well, A, we need to be buying more land, not, not vintage tractors, but also we've probably we've got enough tractors to do most jobs. Now this, is this a 4020? Um, it's hard to see. Oh no, it's 4010. I think these were the, the like earlier models that came out. And it's got the um, Hineker cab, which I know some people strip off immediately, but I like to see the original cabs on tractors. It tells a bit of the history. And um, the more people that do them up and take the cabs off and um, change the fenders, then the rarer that these ones become. So it's always good to see. This is an absolute monster. 1206 turbo. Wow. Again, that that would, would be quite useful for the farm. And it just, like, even against the, the 4010, 4020s shape, that the bonnet is huge on it, or the hood. Um, hood is really high up. It's, it's a 
beast of a tractor. Really cool thing. Maybe we'll get one. I should should stop saying that. Say no. Done up nicely with a big chrome stack. This is something familiar to me from um, from Britain. So I mean, this is the. It's a bit bit. So it's the U.S. spec, but it's been restored, and they've put the badges where the U.K. version is. The U.S. spec has the badge here, where the um, the Ferguson tractor system badge is here. So other than that, it's very American spec. So we got wide back tires um, and the lights on the side of the grille and the the proper red rims in the middle with a nice underslung exhaust pipe so that's really lovely to see reminds me of home in britain and then reminding me of home just over there there's a white so it's a, a field boss series three the same as ours but it's a Two one thirty five, so it's clearly got the um, the front wheel assist um, four wheel drive thing going on, which I always think it looks really cool because it's so far back the wheelbase it looks tiny compared to any other tractor like it. It's got these nice vintage chrome mirrors. Um, yeah, very cool thing. Again, I'd love to have it. I'd love to have all of these. So here's, um, what's this, a Farmall 460. So that, I mean, really that should belong kind of sandwiched in the, the red row over there, but um, it's part here, so it is what it is. I, re I like the styling on them and the, the colour scheme's really lovely. And here's, actually, I wonder if this, the owner of this Massey 240 is the same as the 135, because it's rare to see two really nicely restored one so there must be an enthusiast about somewhere although this is um yeah like a, a more modern version really it's got they must have taken the loader off for the show or something but got a canopy loader power steering so that's like the ideal little t chore tractor really It'd be good for kind of um horse stables work that kind of thing yeah and then right next to it, the opposite end of the scale. I don't actually know. I think this is the biggest tractor here. There's a versatile down the end. I'll have to maybe find the owners and ask about the horsepower because I'm not really sure. But yeah, absolutely huge. Probably bigger than our Steiger. Maybe we should have brought that. But um, I didn't realise there'd be these big things here as well. I thought it'd mainly be vintage stuff but there's a really good selection with some modern classics as well twin exhaust pipes that's crazy is that a huge turbo maybe and then next to it we've got a similarly really cool alice i presume the um these two are owned by the same person as well so 70 60 and an 85 50 very nice and I think from my limited knowledge this is the later one because the earlier one the cab kind of protruded out a bit there yeah but I'm not an expert and now we'll quickly <laughs> I mean you've seen my case 970 before obviously we'll have a look at this super liner and as I said I'm not sure whether it's supposed to be in the show but I left it a, a gap because it should be if it's not. It's obviously delivered something here. We would love to have. We need to get a truck at some point, but this is. And then combined with this Landol trailer. That's fantastic, isn't it? Bit too rich for us right now, but we can dream, eh? And then the case. Isn't it? I mean, the paint's a bit tatty on it, but it's still respectable holds its own and i realize accidentally we've kind of put it in the orange section so um maybe it fits quite well kind of there isn't actually any case ih here i think no magnum no um nothing like that it's all either older international or our case so let's squeeze through here and we'll go back down this middle row 
So this is a versatile 935, which again is huge. Really cool. Don't know whether it's bigger than the Alice or not, so we'll have to find out. This is a, a immaculate 1066 Hydro. Look at the, the level of polish the owner's gone to on this the proper show tractor. It's really lovely. And then next to it, one got to be one of my favourite, I was going to say favourite farmals, but this is um, an IH. Um, when it's not even a farmal, it's a McCormick, isn't it? Because the farmals were the row crop ones, if we compare it to this farmal M. But what I mean is that the earlier ones had this black black and silver badge, and these later ones had the, the IH badge on the front. But I'd love to get one of these. I'm not sure we can justify it with the John Deere and everything as well. But uh, it's just something about them, these long fenders that come all the way down the back. The fact it's not a row crop tractor, which makes it stand out a bit. And in general, I just love the, the styling of the letter series. Some of my favourite tractors, I think. So then this is a, a Farmal H, which were really, really popular. Again, really sh um, stunning, shiny condition. Um, Nate's one, not quite so much, but it, he's still polished it as best he can. And, I mean, it's in line with... Um, uh, well, with our case, certainly. A bit shabby, but yeah, I, I like to see a range. It's nice to see kind of original cared-for tractors as well as ones with fresh paint all over the place. And this is a Farmall MTA. So, M meaning it's the gas engine. Is it the same as this? Yeah, similar, I think. And then the TA is the, the torque amplifier, which was a difference in the, the gearbox. So I don't know how common these are, but I imagine it's more rare than Nate's, which is just a basic Super M. And you can it's nice if we park them next to each other because you can see the difference in the wide and narrow front axle clearly. Now look at this, this um, 1586 with um, front wheel assist. We got actually a fair few tractors um, the bigger kind of ones that would be really useful on our farm and this is this is a really nice handy sized tractor don't quite know what horsepower this is i'm guessing about 150 again I'll, I'll have to clarify and ask the owner if i catch them um lovely thing and then right next to it we got this 3788 2 plus 2 um i think they're sort of called snoopies nicknamed snoopies because of the big, um, big sort of overhanging snout, like Snoopy the Beagle. Um, but it's, again, nice to see them side by side, because you can see the cab. Everything back here is pretty much the same, I think. And then obviously the, these are articulated in the middle. They've got the big pivot there. Yeah. From the back you wouldn't even really be able to tell got a few extra spools yeah i think that's just about everything in the lineup so we'll go we'll we'll chat to the owners a little bit try to find out some more information and then um uh, yeah i don't know i'll catch you later right so um, it's a lot later on in the, the day now, as you can see, it's just gone four and the show's really starting to wind down now. So, um, there's a few, few slots. Um, Nate did turn up in the end and wandered around the show with me. We chatted to some local people. Um, what he ended up doing was he drove home and then took my truck over here so we could load up. Uh, and then he took his little, um, uh, Farmall M back with him just drove it back along the road like we did so we don't have to worry about that uh one new tractor did show up um i think it, it might have been kind of being being prepped or worked on earlier it's just slightly off off the show site um and because it was 
still a bit crowded over there. It parked next to our 970, which is quite nice. So this is a, a 4320, uh, and it's actually a front wheel assist model. And it's all been really nicely restored. So that's really good to see. Now, um, I did did manage to catch hold of the owners of um, a few tractors because we were wondering about the horsepower. And actually, this is this Alice is about 300 horsepower. I think the Versatile was 330, which means that our Steiger, which is 350, is actually more powerful than um, than either of them. Um, and, it, and seeing these all polished out in the light really make me makes me want to um, get ours out. Can't wait for fall with um, chisel ploughing. But yeah, and also the um, the owner of this. 1586 he said it's actually closer to about 170 180 horsepower uh, which puts it more um, along the lines or even slightly over the 3788 power rating so that is a really impressive i think that was the, the biggest in that 86 series line so yeah um final little last walk around the show but it's it's yeah, we've had the, the surge of people during the day, so I didn't do much filming then. I just kind of sat and spoke to some people about my tractors and theirs and met a few new local people. Um, uh, and we might might have, um, might have be in talks with some people for some extra help, although Nate's doing a cracking job at the moment, so we don't really need to do that too urgently. But um, yeah, we'll be getting ready to pack up in the next sort of half an hour i'm sure i think the show officially ended or um ends soon at least but there's still a couple people wandering around people from town um yeah it's nice to see um yeah um the school over there um, got some interest from that so yeah i'll see you once we're all loaded up and ready to go Okay, we're all loaded up, ready to head back. Um, changed the, the order slightly. I still don't know what's really best for this trailer because it's a little tight for the two two things. Um, the, the Mac is all loaded up and is ready to head off too. Um, it turns out that they, they were the ones that had the 4010 and the 3020. So some really nice tractors and... A really nice outfit overall and I think they're coming from um fairway. I don't know quite whether they they um where they said they were coming from. But um they've got a lot more miles to cover than us, put it that way. So we'll be heading off. And a little tight out of here, so I'll try not to hit the bin there. Nice and wide. Oh. Nothing like awful driving and AI traffic to put a slight annoying spin on the day. Anyway, um, yeah, we'll be heading back. Um, really nice day out, and I'm, I'm glad Nate recommended this to us because um, it's nice to meet some people in there antique tractor scene and just um, get to know some more people about town anyway and nice to talk about our tractors and see all the other ones so I hope you enjoy this video it is a little um, different from the usual ones and a nice change of pace but um, because my time to play FS is a bit limited I, I felt I want to combine all of the second cut side which making into one video and I feel like I don't have the time to do it all and chop it up and edit it because it will be a lot more work than walking around talking to you about um, uh, <laughs> sort of tractor mods in Farming Simulator. Uh, yeah, let me know if you'd like to see more of this kind of stuff because I really enjoyed making it um, and it's nice to mix it in with the regular content. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you for haymaking next time. Cheers!